Hey guys, it's Brittany from Coffee Planner Mom, and I'm here today to plan in my recipe planner. Um, so this is going to be recipe spread. It's not an actual sheet out of a recipe planner. I use a dot grid piece of paper for my drink recipes and I just keep them in one section in my recipe planner. So the front of this page is full, so we are going to be flipping it over to the other side. I just wanted to give you a quick view of this because um, it is going to be pretty comparable on the other side. I don't need to title the back, but we're going to be doing four recipes. One of them will be this video. All right, so I have you zoomed in a little bit. Um, I'm not going to put a strip of washi at the top just yet. I want to get a feel for all of the spreads that's going to be going on this page. So the one that we're going to do today is one of my favorites. We're going to be doing a white Russian. And I wanted to check. I'm fairly certain I've just been using the same pen for everything. It looks like it's the same thickness. No, I don't think it is. We're going to use my Paper Mate Ink Joy gel pen in the point seven and I'm going to count out three dots in and three dots down. And now I'm going to switch to my Simply Gilded um, gel pen in the point five tip and it is also ink and it looks like I indent one dot to start the recipe. All right, so really quick, while I'm doing the ingredients, in a traditional white Russian, you just use vodka, but in Brittany's white Russian, I use whipped cream flavored vodka because it's just so delightful and it fits the, like, the flavor palette very well. Um, so you use one and two thirds of an ounce of the whipped cream vodka, had to make sure I was spelling Kahlua correctly. So Kahlua is a coffee liqueur. Um, the thing that you need to keep in mind, maybe, um, is that Kahlua actually is caffeinated. I believe it has roughly half the amount of a standard cup of coffee, like the amount of caffeine. Um, so if caffeine affects you, then that is something you'll want to keep in mind if you're going to be drinking this. Um, and then let's see, does it actually say? No, it doesn't actually have an amount, just milk. So here's the thing. You might be able to use half and half instead of milk. Um, I like the milk. I tried it with heavy whipping cream, zero out of 10, do not recommend. Um, well, maybe three out of 10, do not recommend with heavy whipping cream. It's, it tastes really good and it goes really well with the whipped cream vodka too, but it uh it's heavy it's it sets really heavy in your stomach and it's just not as enjoyable as milk since it's slightly thinner and I think half and half might end up being the same I haven't tried it I've tried whipped cream or um, heavy whipping cream and milk prefer the milk so now what I need to do is I need to put a strip of washi down and I mean I could go with the bigger bows. I don't know. I think I'm going to stick with the 10 millimeter though. So these are from Simply Gilded. They are actually from the first class box. Let's see. And I'm going to t send it 16 dots across. And how do I like to do this? Okay. So I'm going to put it down a little bit further than needed. So I can put my thing down. I can be a little bit more eloquent with my words. I'm just not right now. So let me count out my 16 dots. So I actually went 17. 16 would have been perfectly in line with the A, so I extended it one extra. So now I'm going to grab my, here it is, black quarter boxes, and I'm just going to write out prep steps. So um, the quarter boxes are actually from my own creation. Um, they were what I was using as like a test sheet when I was trying to figure out 
how to print and cut stickers and just standard size black boxes seem to be the easiest thing for me. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead with the prep steps and I'm gonna keep it in line with that first dot. We're going to fill, fill a short glass. Now here's the thing, this makes a very small amount, honestly. Um, I, t <laughs> I usually double this when I make it for myself because it's just, it's a very little amount and that might also be why heavy whipping cream is not good because it's entirely too much. It's okay. Fill a short glass with ice and then you're going to pour, yeah. So we got, how do I, yeah, okay. Um, we bought ourselves for quarantine an entire little bar kit and this was one of the ones that was in it and it's a pretty, pretty good recipe. So I'm just kind of, like I said, I tweaked it to use my own um, the whipped cream vodka. So you're going to pour the vodka and the Kahlua into and stir it up with your bar spoon and then use bar spoon to pour the milk on top. And it creates a really pretty like look, which is what I used in the intro. I didn't actually use the bar spoon though. Um, I just kind of poured it straight in. So otherwise, if you do it this way, pour milk on top, right? Yeah. Um, it actually keeps it separated and it looks really cool for pictures but if you pour it straight on it just kind of like drizzles down and you can see it like swirling to create the colors it's pretty and then i am going to do a garnish which is probably going to make my husband laugh um we we don't usually garnish our drinks. I do write down whenever I get a recipe from a site and I think all the other ones on the, well, three of the ones on the front came from Tipsy Bartender. One of them is actually my husband's own creation. Um, but whenever I get it from somewhere, it always says what to garnish with. So I try to write that down, you know, just so that I have it. Um, this, what I like to do is I actually prefer to take some Hershey syrup and drizzle it around the, um, around the glass, put the ice cubes in and then mix the vodka and the Kahlua separately and then pour it in so that I'm not stirring it and it still looks pretty. Like it doesn't mess up the, uh, the chocolate. It just, yeah, it looks really awesome. All right, I kind of messed up the H a little bit, but that is okay. Um, now, here's the fun thing is like you, so you can, where am I going? You can dress the glass, that's what we're gonna call it, with Hershey syrup. I mean, I guess I don't need to actually put Hershey's syrup could just put chocolate syrup, but it's fine. Um, and you could also top with whipped cream itself. And that is super yummy. Honestly, I'm wondering, I could probably even throw this into a blender and make it a blended drink. All right, now I think that we both know that I'm not gonna find anything for a white Russian in my Happy Planner food sticker book, but man, I'm still gonna try. Um, they definitely have more of like the fruity drinks. And I don't know if I really wanna put cheers and happy hour, as cute as they are. It's just not quite right. And I don't think, yeah, let's throw some bacon down, how about that? 
Um, I don't know what I was going to say. I got so distracted. Oh, I don't think I'm going to find like whipped cream or chocolate syrup or anything like that outside of a, um, like an ice cream page. But I mean, I'm sitting here because I'm willing to give it a try. Oh, cupcakes. Those look good. Yeah, here's ice cream. Yeah, so like I don't even see like ice cream sundaes or anything. So, and now we're getting into like fruits. Yeah. Yeah, so I guess I can't really decorate this all that much. Yeah, no, I'm not putting an avocado down. Yeah, I guess that's all I'm going to really be able to do for this, which is fine. Um, as the as this page comes together a little bit more, I'll have more things. Yeah, that is like perfectly. So what I'm actually going to do, I think... I think I'll take the stars and I'm going to bring this to about halfway so it should be right about here okay I'll have to count it all right so I brought it out to the middle of the page and I have it lined up with the same same distance on the front half just so that it stays like maintained and then I will figure everything else as this page comes together with the other colors of whatever recipes I test out and throw in here. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already so that you don't miss out on any of my other videos. If you press the bell icon, it will actually give you pop-up notifications so that you'll know as soon as my videos go live. And be sure to be following me over on Instagram. Over there, I'm at Coffee Planner Mom. And make sure that if you try this out, that you do drink responsibly. See you later.